with Interfidelity. We're here at New York Can Jam 2018. I'm at the final audio booth with Michael, who's gonna talk about the new D8000, the new D8000 planar magnetic headphones. Hey, so these have been showing for a while. Are they finally ready? We actually, we, we launched, we announced the D8000 about six months ago. We started going into production just recently. Um, we normally start with Asia because that is a well-known market for that well know, knows our brand very, very well. We have started about two months ago in the United States, but I will tell you the demand is outweighing our ability to a uh, production. Um, we currently make these still in-house because we're so worried about the quality of our products and our brand that we are almost caught up now. There are a few stores in the U.S. that do carry them and reviews are actually starting to come out now in the United States. Cool, and how much are they? I believe they're, uh, the retail MSRP is $37.99 what, what for the U.S. market. What makes so uh, unique? Yes. The, the planar technology has been around for some time. We wanted to take a, a different look at it. So we actually partnered with uh, engineers in Tokyo and redeveloped what's called an air film dampening system. We're trying to control the sound frequencies at the lower spectrum of sound with a lot of energy through it so that we can maintain our flat frequency response and more natural sounding product. Two and a half years later, we have a product design and a new patent and we are now in launch mode for our version of what a planar magnetic with that much energy should sound like. Cool. I'm We're excited, excited to listen to them. Uh, I noticed these audio wipes over here. Can you just... I, I don't usually see them. Yeah, we're, we're big believers in, in cleanliness and, and not only each customer for final audio is unique. We want to make sure they're taken care of as an individual. So we use audio, FDA grade audio wipes for all of our products during a show, in between listening, so that our people that come to listen to or demo our products at a show do not have to worry about cleanliness or who used them previously. But you also have different sizes of tips to switch out, right? Yeah, we believe uh, we launched our type e-tips just a few months ago, which are now um, extremely popular in the U.S. market. We find that majority of the majority of tips out of the marketplace are just medium or large. We like to put five different types types of tips in all of our products currently. So we find a lot of our users will use two different sizes on two different ears. A medium, a small, a medium, a large, a small, a medium, a medium, an extra large, because no two ears are the same size. So if you don't have a proper fit, you will not enjoy either enjoy the music or you will get so much bleed out in the lower frequencies or the higher frequencies that you won't get a, you won't get the experience of what that earphone can do for you. Cool, interesting. Um, so I'm interested in learning more about the DIY, the, the final audio team kit. Sure, we actually have a trainer with us here today, so when you're ready I can let Adam go through it with you. Hello, I'm the main trainer of the DIY session that we do here at shows in... Yeah. You look so young, how old are you? I'm only 16 years old, but um, mm. back at our uh, the show previously we, we did, the DIY yeah. uh, event at, it was the Rocky Mountain Audio Fest, and there we did an entire class about uh -huh. um, like teaching basically everyone exactly how we assemble our headphones with tuning, how filters work, you know, actually assembling a headphone. And um, it's a really interesting class because, like, it leaves nothing barren behind. Like, you get to know, like, exactly how the process works. And um, Final just, like, because Final doesn't, Final in Japan doesn't want to keep secrets. Like, they want their consumer to know everything. They care about their consumers and customers and how they feel and they just want them to feel like they're not getting scammed or cheated because we are an honest to goodness audio company that cares wholeheartedly about our consumers. So they're they're probably sold really close to cost then? They people based on uh, feedback and reviews people value them extremely highly like in the few hundred dollar range but we usually like right like for this show for the New York can jam 
Uh, they're currently retailing at sixty dollars, uh, and I will personally walk you through assembling your headphone, and then even when you're done assembling it, when you get home, you can assemble it yourself because it's that simple and easy. Cool. Well, thank you so much. No problem. Steve Zuttenberg, the audiophiliac, aka one of my number one mentors, uh, is here at the booth. So I thought I'd ask him his impressions of the D8000. Hey, Jana, you know, I really do like these. They, I've heard prototypes before that look just like this, but this is the finished product. I hear there's, they're back ordered already. I really like it. It's refined. It's really open sounding. I mean, it's a very noisy room, so I may feel different when I hear it in a quiet space. But as it is right now, this is this is the best sound I've heard at Can Jam so far. I I haven't heard a lot. With that price in mind? Even at this price, yeah. It's a, it's a great headphone. I can't wait to get them for myself. Cool. Uh, any any other thoughts? Any other thoughts? Um, you know, I, I, I do. I mean, I think the... Oh, it just popped out of my head, so now I screwed it up.